You guys want to be on the video? <coughs> what? No. No working. What do you want? What do you want, Lucy? Huh? You gotta tell me. What do you want? You guys want a treat? All right. All right. I'm gonna show you guys how to tie a kayak. There it is. Onto a regular old little car with some straps and some cushions. And there's the car. Okay, here's some supplies. This is just stuff that I've accumulated from buying the kayaks and it comes with it a lot. These here are for uh, canoes. You had four of them. You put them on the canoe rail and then you put the canoe up on the car. This is a kit you can buy. Comes with two of these uh, cushions and a bag full of straps. Yakima Kid, they make lots of different name brands. Walmart's got some. And then this one here is a little bigger cushion. A little longer makes it a little easier, I think. But I'm gonna take some of this stuff with all the straps. Let me tell you about the straps first. Okay, I buy these Yakima straps because they're different colors. And when I throw them in my truck, I can tell, you know, which one's the long one, which is the yellow. And then you got the green, red, blue. So I can tell just by the color how long they are. So that helps me out. And I got two pieces of 12 foot rope there. And I'm gonna use probably the long straps because if you don't have a bunch of straps, just buy the long ones, you can always just tie off the extra strap material. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a tie down point for the front of your car to tie your kayak. You can crawl up underneath if you got some kind of hook or you can even tie it to the the plastic part because this is just an extra security measure not really holding the kayak down so you take this rope about, I don't know how long that is maybe three three and a half feet just rope it tied around like that one time around and tighten it up that's all there's to it may not be the best one but it works easy fast you got a loop. You thread this around the frame. And pull it out. And pull them out the front. I got one on each end. So I'm going to shut the hood. Now you have a nice place to tie down for the front of your kayak. Okay, here we go. Ideally, you want the cushion back here, close to the back and the front. But I have this window and sunroof. But anyway, I open up all four doors. These straps are real easy to use. I'm going to use two yellow straps for this job. They're the longest ones I have. You don't want to go through the window because then you can't open the door. Not the best. Go around the other side.
I can scoot the back strap back as far as you can. And you just reach under here, kind of hold on so it doesn't move. Pull. Pretty tight. Thing on the front. I put the buckles inside the vehicle so the strap's not blowing all over. They got it on there pretty good. It's moving a little bit and we'll tighten it up a little more. Put a rope on the front and the back just to make sure you got it on there good. All right, I'm going to show you how to tie the front down. I put these tie down points. I'm going to use those. You could use uh, hooks underneath or tie to something else underneath if you want. The best way is if you get two going off instead of one in the middle, but one in the middle is better than nothing. Now, I use one in the middle a lot too. You have two, you have other straps, it's just uh, extra security. Find both ends, find the middle, slide it through, the rope on the uh, handle, and pull the others through that hook, and you got it. You got a good rope. Two even, two even pieces. Put it through here, tighten it up. on these through here tighten up I put it around the other rope and then up and then around again and up and you're done you can wrap this thing up if you don't want it flapping in the wind and that's all you need for the front good a little extra security Keeps them from moving, and uh, that's it for that part. We'll go around the back and do the back. All right, the back. Same, take a piece of rope. I got the same length, just to, in case it's too long, show you what to do. But anyway, I put a loop on one end. You just loop it, just wrap it around once, like I did with the blue one in the front. Pull it. That's all you need to do. Alright, same thing. You put it through the anything on the back here, but the, this rope is pretty good and strong. If it's not, you could use some other points. Find some. Pull this through that loop. Now you got a good place to strong place to tie down. I only use one in the back usually because it's not moving much in the back. I have a small trailer hitch on on this uh, car, so it makes it easy. But before I, before I do that, I was going to, well, I'll show you. Okay. Now, if you want to, if you need to tie the rope down, you don't have any straps, you want to tie it real strong, like in the middle, you don't have to tie it real strong here, but if you wanted to, you put a, you come up, measure, find your point right here. Pull it back through, and you just put a little loop right here, and that'll give you a, a place to pull down on. I'll show you. It works really good. You can get a rope super, super tight like this. Just have a little loop in it. Put it back through wherever your point is on the bottom. It could be underneath, or you can even do some straps underneath your trunk like you did on the, the front. So you can pull down. You put this through that hole, and now you got a place to pull. You can really pull them tight like that if you wanted to. Not that you need to on this one, but sometimes you might. If you don't have any straps in the middle, you just you, if you just have rope, do that. But you make you a loop, and then tie to that. And then just to keep this from banging around, I'll just tie it back up here. Okay, now we're all done. I don't know, it didn't take too long. 
in 10 minutes or so. They got it good and tight here. Not moving anywhere. I'll give you a little tour here. And there's the, the straps in the middle go all the way over. Strong there. And the front. So there you go. You got a kayak tied down good. And uh, ready to go hit the highway. 80 miles an hour. Okay, I want to show you one more thing about the straps that you couldn't see from the distance. The reason I like these straps so much, uh, they're faster than ropes, they're stronger than ropes, and the ratchet straps are, you know, take too much time, a little complicated, and if you're not careful, you tighten them down too tight, those big buckles are, you know, waving in the wind and so on, but these things uh, work great for kayaks and canoes. All you do is just stick it up from the bottom like that and pull, and that's all there is to it. And that gives you a tight, tight hold. And uh, I've never had any problem with them coming loose or anything. Got these little teeth on there to grab it. So that's why I like these so much. That's all. I forgot that I was looking at my video and I for, forgot. I realized I forgot to, you know, give you a close up how the straps work. But they're just super simple. Just slide it in like that, pull it, and it's tight. That's all. What about when you first stepped on the ship? <laughs> the sucker didn't move. <laughs> didn't well, move. I like telling that story. Yeah. Took a step on the aircraft carrier. Was that the aircraft carrier? Yeah. On the aircraft carrier, you, you thought it was going to dip down a little bit when you stepped on it. <laughs> yeah. I thought, I thought it was going to be like stepping in a rowboat. <laughs> Oh, man. I soon got over that one. Yeah, you, you, you grew up fast there when you, when you left yeah. West Virginia, then. Yeah. All right. So that's how you tie down a kayak on top of a regular old car. Uh, I'll show you how to do a, a canoe one of these days, too. So it's, it's basically the same, but you just have those four cushions that you put on the canoe rails before you put the canoe up on top of the car. But that's basically it. You get two good straps in the middle. If you don't have straps, you can use rope. But just put that little loop in there so you can winch down that rope nice and tight in the middle. And then the two ends, they don't have to be as tight. It's just kind of keep it keep it from moving around and a little security there just in case something goes wrong with one or the other. Um, straps or ropes. <laughs> so that's basically it for that. And we'll see what we come up with next on uh, how to buy and sell kayaks. And uh, I'm the fish boxer, or fish boxer. And that's just because I like to fish and I got a boxer. <laughs> I don't do any real box. I do like to fish uh, when I get a chance to. And uh, that's how I came up with fish boxer. So um, thanks a lot. And uh, see you later.